Yeah, Gris showed up at the top of the front store page for you. I think they actually remove games that you own, which is smart, honestly, because why advertise something to somebody if they already own it? Uh, but it's like, it bugs me a little bit that there's, you know, there's so much trash on there now that it's like, it's like trying to go to, what a, what would I even just, well, actually, season for, uh, it's the holidays. Let's talk, uh, bad holiday gifts. So, when I was a kid, uh, I, I specifically, well, kid, when I was in high school, uh, grew up in Massachusetts for a while, and white elephant gifts were huge there. Honestly, too huge, especially considering how crappy white elephant gifts parties could go. Uh, but so, re-gifting was super common. And so I would, it wouldn't exactly be, uh, re-gifting, but you know, everybody would go bring a, uh, they would bring a, a gift, and the gift would often be like, let's see, do we have any more gems? Are there only four types of gems in this game? I've actually forgotten. Uh, so everybody goes, brings like, a gift. The gift can be anywhere from, you know, a video game, a movie, or in my case, I'd usually grab like, kind of highly sought after candy, or like, just two pounds of straight chocolate. Because you can buy these, like, giant bars of chocolate from Trader Joe's, and they're amazing, and I love them. And so I often will give those as a gift because, yeah, nobody, nobody minds that. We lived empty ch cardboard boxes weren't a cheap, cheap gift. They were, I, so <laughs> that actually kind of feeds into the story a little bit. Uh, it wasn't exactly empty cardboard boxes, but so what I would do is I'd, I'd grab a cereal box and I'd put the two, two pound bar of chocolate in there and uh, everybody would like, <laughs> you know, look at it unwrap the cereal box, but not actually, like, open the cereal box, and they'd be like, this is a dumb present. And then at the end of it, I'd be like, y open it up, it's fine. And they'd see, like, just a boatload of sweet candy, and it's like, yeah, okay, this is fine. Uh, but so I went to one of these white elephant parties for my youth group, because I was still involved in such things. Um, and, I, you know, somebody had gotten, like, a, a CD, uh, a CD case. Another person had gotten a... What is it? A CD case, a... I think headphones. Like, it was a lot of cheap $10 gifts or whatever. And I got this, like, big round tub thing. And I was like, okay, whatever. Whatever's in here. I mean, it... I brought candies, so whatever... Whatever is, like, equivalent to that, I'll be fine with. I open it up, and it's a bunch of broken McDonald's toys from, like, the 90s. And it was super obviously, like, they hadn't bothered to get anything. And I knew the family. I knew they weren't too poor, it's just that their their youngest son was a shithead. And thought that this was a fine thing to bring to a gift exchange. Uh, and I was livid, because it's like, you don't bring that to a gift exchange. That's like, uh, when I went to a scout, you know, one of these things for, for the Boy Scouts, and somebody decided it was a great idea to bring a neoprene spoon and wrap it up in a, in a large box and pretend it was something important. And it's like, I, I guess, like, that's the best you could get, but it was just a spoon. It wasn't even like a camping spoon. It was too big to be, like, reasonably be brought camping. It was the kind of thing that you would put in a kitchen. And I ended up with a spoon because, yeah, I got shafted with it and it was annoying. Uh, but at least I could work with that. But, like, broken McDonald's toys? Like, what the hell? I, I'm still mad about this. And yeah, he had the biggest grin. He knew exactly what he gave me. Uh, I was mad. Still mad. Okay, so we can go down? I guess we might as well go down. Go for the cheap land. And which is this one? Mining Guild. I don't think I actually recognize this one. But, man, I don't even remember where I'd started this one. It's talking about gifts and trash and... Nope, don't remember. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Give good gifts or don't participate in gifts exchanges. I don't remember what the hell I was talking about and why I even got onto this topic. Oh well. Let's see, I should have regifted it back to him at the end of the year. I actually just totally gave up on that youth group at that point. Uh, so, I... 
I've never been particularly religious. Uh, I think I've been around too many overly religious people, and so it'll, it always, like, kind of pushed me away. My uncle sincerely believed that he could, uh, well, more or less his faith gave him magic powers and he could, like, regrow limbs and stuff. And I was always just a little bit too much of a skeptic to, to believe in that myself. Uh, for good reason. I... I'm fairly certain you can't regrow limbs no matter how hard you hope, pray, or whatever. Uh, and if somebody wants to prove that you can, then I will absolutely believe them. Uh, but I gotta be, like, there for that or something. I don't know. Uh, skepticism is healthy, not unhealthy. And so... Uh, let's see. So, going to this youth group... You know, it was fine. The previous pastor was, like, nice and friendly. Uh... And he was more of a community leader than, like, any kind of religious figure. And I was pretty down with that. This renewal. No, we need to go... Amulets. But, uh, let's see. What do we make? Basic amulet. Oh, let's get that going, because we're going to need one of those. Uh, but yeah, so... I I liked, I liked it. I didn't really have any friends there, but my brother and I went, and, you know, it was kind of a nice way that I could do something since my parents were religious. But, you know, I, I was more of a just kind of like, yeah, I'm just going because it's nice. Didn't care for most of the kids there for kind of obvious reasons, um, according to that story. But every year we go to, like, Nantucket, uh, which is a cute little island off the coast of Massachusetts. And that was always kind of like a, a personal favorite for me to go on that trip because it was just it was just pleasant. Uh, but then eventually, I, I guess pastors are supposed to cycle uh, every year. Or not every year, every like five or ten years or something like that. See, have I gone after shrines yet? I need crystals, unfortunately. So we're waiting on that one. I gotta go north, and going north is expensive. Huh. <sighs> but, uh... So eventually he had to move on and the new guy took over, but he was kind of slow and I think we were waiting for him or who knows what. Uh, but effectively this, the, the secretary was in charge of community events in the youth group for a while. And she was mean. She was, she was the kind of person that would judge you for reading Harry Potter. Uh, because, you know, it's not like the devil, but just, you know, it's not highbrow enough for her. And of course she read, like, super you know, gross romance novels, so I'm not entirely sure what kind of high horse she was riding, but it was not the right kind of one. It was a sexy horse, but like it was not a horse that you'd uh, grow to respect by knowing her longer. Uh, and so she was in charge of organizing everything, and so quickly the trips to Nantucket became very boring, very, very structured, and very not fun. <laughs> so I gave up on on that. And so we were, uh, what were we doing? We were at a meeting. The ad adults and some of the older kids from the youth group were, were there to, you know, discuss what to do for the next year or so. And how to deal with, you know, the, the slowly dwindling attend attendance. Because, you know, all the kids weren't going as much. And so... The father of one of the guys whose kid never went was saying that uh, we need to force all the kids to go and, you know, more or less make them, uh, make them religious. And this was like the hours before I get like a bucket full of trash for the gift exchange. And I'm like, I think I'm done with this forever uh, and pretty much never went back because, yeah, I just... But, like, people took them seriously, too. Like, they're actually discussing how to, like, force kids to go to youth group and whatnot. And I'm like, you don't force kids to go to anything. They're not gonna... They're not gonna go to that willingly. They're gonna... They're just gonna lose interest quicker. Especially, like, with all the... All, like, so many other more interesting things to do on a given day. When I was a kid, I guess I was maybe a little bit more amenable to religious stuff, because... Uh, there was nothing to do on Sundays. There wasn't... You know, there there was no, like, Saturday, Sunday morning cartoons. There were, like, weird religious shows. And then, like, some Disney movie at night. Uh, and now that, now that I have video games, the idea of, like, going anywhere on a Sunday is like, hell no. I got other things to do. Uh, d okay. I did make this chest over here, right? Yeah, I did. 
And I don't think I will ever look down on anybody that actually, you know, enjoys religious stuff. I've just fallen off the, uh, fallen off of it. Somebody got mad at me, I think, a couple... It was like a month ago. I was talking about how I don't like Chick-fil-A anymore because of how uh, politically active they became. Same thing with, like, Papa John's and Boy Scouts. Uh, I'm an Eagle Scout, and I kind of hate my organization. There, There's a lot wrong with it. Uh, it looks like it's finally kind of coming out and biting them in the butt. At least they allow girls now, which is nice. Let's see. But yeah, I was talking about that, and somebody was really mad and more or less started, like, calling me all sorts of semi-awful, like, terms. And I'm just like, I hold, hold up. <laughs> Where is this coming from? I don't know. Bugs me when everybody, whenever anybody jumps on that. I get a lot of, actually, comments where people just kind of jump on me as though I'm, like, demonizing them from the get-go. And it's always a little bewildering. I was, oh, what was it? Somebody was mad uh, at me for my Hades video. Because I... I do commentary, as you do. And, uh... And they were mad because I do commentary. And they wanted a, a no-commentary playthrough of Hades. And, you know, they were effectively... I think they more or less uh, said, like, Thumbs down, uh, mofo, and, you know, just were really smarmy awful, and I'm like... Who are you to demand this of me, and why do you think you're going to get your way? And he just more or less went on forever like that, and it's just like, wait, hold, hold on. <laughs> you never answered my question. Who are you to demand these things? Why do you think you're going to get your way by being a bad person here? I don't know. Okay, I should probably go grab a fairy. The resources, I feel like, have slowed down a little bit, but that might just be me. Hard to say. I should probably just start fabricating coins. Let's see. I guess to go on the topic of Boy Scouts uh, allowing girls in, people are saying it's a grab to get new members. I think somewhat of that, somewhat of an attempt to modernize, I believe, yeah, there was a, uh, I believe there was a, a lawsuit uh, towards the Boy Scouts of America, more or less, saying that you have to allow girls in. And I think that's actually a, a totally valid thing. Like, I don't think any organization for should be guys only. Uh, when I became an Eagle Scout, we had, uh, we had a special, like, dinner we could go to. And it was creepy culty. Like, there was a bunch of, like, you know, 40, 50-year-old dudes, more or less... Congratulating the incoming Eagle Scouts, but mostly it was, like, there for them. Like, I've never been to, uh, like, a large donor party for some political pack, for example, but that's exactly what I imagine it would be like. And it creeped me out to no end, and I, I, I know having, like, women as part of that probably wouldn't change much, but it really, like, reeked good old boys club, and I don't like that. I don't like that feeling, where you just have, like, a bunch of... Uh, I guess middle-aged men, uh, in one location alone, which is, I mean, this sounds weirder than I'm making it sound, but it, it just creeped me out. I didn't like it. Uh, I don't know exactly if having women there would change the problem, but it would at least make it feel a little bit more inclusive. Inclusivity is important for me. Oh, let's see, so what do we do? We're more or less... I guess I should probably just start producing coins. I want to make another vault, but I should get more land. So yeah, why don't we why don't we just make madcap money? That's a lot of money. Yeah, this is worth it. But I've talked about this with Shell, actually, a couple of times, and she had been in Girl Scouts for like a year? She wasn't in Scouts for long, uh, Girl Scouts, and she more or less said that it was super boring for her. And... I... Uh... I've always kind of understood that Girl Scouts don't do particularly interesting things. Uh, 
And so, yeah, somebody's bringing this up in chat that it was not forced upon the Girl Scouts as well to include the guys. I think to some degree, one, you have to have a completely separate uh, lawsuit, effectively, to sue Girl Scouts into allowing guys in. Um, okay, so I got I got jewelry. What's commerce? It's okay. One cost. We should probably maybe go colonization early on. What else could I get that would give me a bunch of EXP quick? I guess I should probably go down inscription. We're getting pretty close to the, using this. And getting novice scrolls seems like a good idea. Or flower press. Flower press actually is... We'll go... Flower press first, maybe then inscription. I don't know. Okay, how much money do I have? I have enough for a little bit of land. I'm just going to keep kind of getting as much land as I can. And it looks like the Radish family is going to be safe. That's good. So we'll go for bones next, I think. There's more bridges out there. How does this keep happening? I never made that mistake previously. I don't know. But yeah, you'd have to you'd have to sue the Girl Scouts. Uh, oh, oh, that destroyed my vault. Let's build another one. We got okay. It just refunds all the resources. That's good. I should probably make more. Uh, coal, iron, gold. Ow. But honestly, like as a dude, I don't think I'd be that interested in joining the Girl Scouts to begin with. And I almost want to bet that, like, we're probably going to see Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts kind of fold, and then, like, a new combo organization show up. But isn't that exactly what, like, the Venture Scouts are supposed to be? Because, like, if I remember right, the Venture Scouts are, like, totally gender neutral, which is good, actually. One of the turnips died, though, you monster. What? Did it? Uh, not this round. No, no. There, there's only three children, for whatever reason. You're amazing, and we love you. And there's nothing underneath them. Somebody had said there was a chest underneath the big one. They're a damn dirty liar. Do not listen to their lies. But yeah, if I, if I ever have kids, I'm probably going to go for the gender-neutral organization, because, I don't know. I feel like uh, exclusivity and gatekeeping are always like super dangerous. Uh, I have to deal with this to some degree a lot when I'm playing with Shell. Uh, where people just straight up say like kind of nasty things in regards to her. And it's like, why is he playing with this girl still? And it's like, I uh, hold, hold on. And it, it bugs me a little bit because it's just like, I don't want to wake up to that. That's usually... Like, I wake up to one of those every every couple of days, and it's just like, I just... Oh. Destroyed my other vault, too. Or not my other vault, my other bank. Uh, honestly, I'll just put it on this island. That's rough. How much money do I have? I get a little bit. Okay. What else can we do here? Mainly kill time. And we'll wait. But I feel like uh, the gaming industry going more 50-50 guy-girl will be kind of nice. Unfortunately, I think it's still... I think, like, mobile gaming throws it off a little bit. But... Ugh. But, like, I've been... I've been reading articles about... I guess go, going back to the Riot Games thing. Uh, there were, uh, what was it? One of their executives got, like put on administrative leave for a while because of harassment, like farting in people's face and like grabbing people, uh, where it's absolutely not okay to grab them. Hello. Oh, perfect. I should probably eat before I do any of this. And like hearing about that years ago made me say like, yeah, this gun company is probably not great and then uh, finding out that uh, it's still going on bugs me a little okay can we get this open yes and we get spirit orb use it to increase your stats oh okay so they've changed this around I like this
Okay. Uh, so at this point, we need another mining rod. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Can I... Industrial. Mining rod. Okay, I need six of each. Do that. Honestly, as many bricks as we can make. We're going to need endless bricks anyway. Uh, I need to find a new topic. I am distracted. This is what happens when I know how to play a game. I, I stop talking about the game. I start just talking about whatever the hell's in my mind. Uh, Shell was... I guess not a, not exactly on the same vein. But uh, I've been getting a little bit more recognition from developers. People seem to kind of vaguely know who I am. Which is nice, actually. Because it means, like... Uh, I don't have to ask for games anymore. Uh, which sounds weird, but, like, it is so much easier if there's, like, a cool game coming out soon, and, like, it just shows up in my inbox. Hey, thank you, Nikolaj, for the two-month resub. Uh, thank you so much. Give him some bell sprouts. Or beans, or both, or buzz, who cares? Celebrate. Uh, let's see, but... What was I gonna say? Right, I'm getting a little bit more recognition on, like, the... I guess for how many games I cover and whatnot. And it's a nice feeling. Uh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of slimes. This is concerning. Uh, but, you know, I was talking about, like, I don't... I kind of want to be low-key Total Biscuit in terms of, like, yeah, I cover the cool games that nobody else does, so, like, you guys can find the cool games uh, instead of just, you know, being bogged down in EA trash and whatever. Uh, or who knows what else. I think I'd do a decent job of that. Uh, but I don't think I'll ever want to be as, like, famous as him, because I don't think I want that sheer amount of flack. I always feel bad for people that get too much limelight and are kind of, like, questioned at every turn for their motives. That scares me. I don't want to be... I don't want, to want people to look at me for, like, opinions on super controversial topics. I'll give them, but I don't want to be, like seen as the arbiter of justice on the internet or anything like that. That scares me. I don't think... I don't think he was seen as such, but it, some people looked up to him that much, and I'm like, ah, that's scary. Okay, is this enough? Or should I just plunk it here? I should probably plunk it right in between. I'll plunk it there, because that way it'll hit that... That way it'll hit that uh, tree as well. Oh. Oh, right, right. Because we're going to start... Uh, every time you kill a grave, it spawns a skeleton. Okay, so how are we doing on money? Oh, uh, bone pickaxe. Let's get that going first. What else can we get? Basic gloves? Heck yeah. I kind of wish you could get bones out of the, uh, the bulls. I mean, they got bones, right? Unless that's a gelatinous bull. Or it's just, like, all meat and skin. Oh, God. Can you imagine a creature that's just so muscular it can stand on its own? I guess that's kind of what an oct octopus is, because, yeah, they're, they're invertebrates. I know your brother, but didn't know he was your brother at first. Found out you were his brother while talking about video games. I started freaking out because I'm a big fan. Cool. He is... tall. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, I need to talk to him more. He's been busy, uh... doing, like, a bunch of PhD stuff. And I, like, I'm so wildly out of touch with, with education. I was kind of hoping he'd move out closer to me or something so I could, uh... Because I'm looking to move, and I was like, well, I mean, if he ends up in, like, Michigan or something, that'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind living in Michigan for a little while. But no, he's going to be back up in Boston still. He is so tall. You're, like, five feet. He's, what, 6'3"? It's, I'm 5'10". I, sh I got the short end of the stick when it comes to height. I'm, I'm still a little, I'm not going to say, like, mad, necessarily, because, like, you know, obviously, uh... 5'10 is not actually that ridiculously short. 
but let's keep getting more gold here, probably. It feels like gold drops a little bit more often. Yeah, I think my brother had actually mentioned you. Uh, he was talking about talking to somebody uh, and then finding out that they were a fan of me. And the idea of that is really cool. And I'm glad that he gets to have that experience because I don't even know what that would feel like. Uh, but I don't know. The common connection of people being a fan of me this is fun. Uh, let's see, what do we get? More thread? Yeah, what else do we do? I don't think we, I don't think we can get the fiery pickaxe yet. Really, right now we are just hamstrung monetarily. I should probably see what I need for the next wallet. That's truly what I should go for. Let's see, it means you're more famous than uh, your brother. I for now, I could see my brother doing something particularly uh, famous-ish. Or doing something uh, particularly not famous-ish. Sorry, I, I could see my brother getting getting into something particularly like important throughout the years. He is a he's really good at what he does, and he's really knowledgeable. Uh, physical chemistry, but also like programming and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't get on like some particularly major uh, research projects somewhere over the next couple of years and just wildly eclipse me. I... I don't know. I could never do that. I've... I'm honestly a little bit shocked that I've managed to turn Twitch and YouTube into a thing. I honestly thought I was just going to be a dude that made video games for the rest of my life. But I guess instead I get to be a dude that just plays video games on the internet and everybody just enjoys it. I'd like to make my own games. This is tough. Time. Time is the problem. Time is the forever problem. Uh, let's see, what do we do? More? Yeah. More wood. What I should do with my brother is actually contact him about doing D&D at some point. We did a D&D campaign of his for a while, but at, that was at the time where I was still, like, living in my parents' basement. I was, like, super tired all the time. I was, I think, really low to motivation for anything that wasn't direct video games. Now that I've kind of come out on the other side, uh, I actually really want to play more D&D, and I haven't been able to in ages. Bugs me a bit. Uh, let's see, 50% more resources. So what do we need for the bone amulet? 8 steel, 20 bone. Wow, yeah, actually we can get a lot of these. Oh, I need the inscription table. It's about that time. Okay, magical. So we need more wood. Ah, I just spent it all, like a doof. Let's see, does this game have multiplayer? Yes and no. It is a Patreon goal of the developers. Oh, what is this? Oh. Huh. So these orbs are a free level or stamina or something. I'm going to probably focus on energy and stamina. The free levels would be nice, but I don't need them. Once we get the shrines going, we'll be okay. Those orbs are neat, though. I like that. But anyway, so there will be multiplayer for this game eventually, but I think currently he is focused on getting the game on uh, in a complete state uh, and on Steam first. Hey, we can buy a new island. Uh, probably go out to the desert next. Oh, it's the bad one. Okay, maybe not the bad one, but it's not it's not one of the exciting ones. Hey, cool. So we're getting double resources from everything now. I'm going to be so rich! Let's see, in before your brother names something after your channel. That'd be weird. But I don't know, who, who knows where the science community is going to be in a couple years. Then again, I'm not actually exactly sure where he's going to be. Because I think he got a little bit sick of academics. And because, so my brother does like physical chemistry and stuff, but he's like really good at programming. And I don't think uh, a lot of labs know where to place him. So he said he was like doing interviews and more or less like he'd show up and they'd be like, we're not really sure if you're like the right fit for us just because like what you do is like super special and stuff. And we just need like a generalist guy. 
And it sounded like he was kind of frustrated about that. Let's see. Hot pepper, glass, and steel. Oh, right. Glass. Well, I can make a whole bunch. This will start on the steel. I'm going to need some more iron ingots, too. Uh, let's see. Stay away from him. We're good there. This is working out. Slow, but it's working. I just wish the resources were spawning as fast as they were. They probably actually are spawning just as fast. I guess what I should do... Let's get more steel. I'll get a mining rod probably in the corner here. Because what I should be doing is putting them in the corners as opposed to along the sides. Because I think... I think two... Two mining rods can cover like a whole 4x4 four four area-ish if I do it right. I might need a little bit more than that. I don't know. I don't really know good placement here. Oh. Hello. You attempted to get at me. That ain't gonna work. Okay. I wonder what the big skull is for. It's a crafting material, but I've never I've never seen it before. I'm kind of curious. Uh, let's see. So what else do we do? We got more steel. Can I build another mining rod? The answer is no. I need, I need way more steel than what I got. Can you get more? Yes. I can get just enough. I'm going to drink some tea. Holy crap, I've been playing this for almost two hours now. I, it, this is the game that I can play for like five hours straight and think I only played two. Is a problem. It just, it's just repetitive enough that you kind of lose your sense of time, but just act in, active enough that I don't get bored. Okay, do we have more coins? Yes. Let's make more. Let us become rich. Uh, let's see, medium wallet needs hot peppers. We have none. Unless they're sitting around over on the side. There's a very real possibility that... Nope, just nothing. Alright. Yeah, let's see. Kingdom does that as well, I think. Absolutely. Kingdom is a fantastic game. It's... I wish it were deeper. Like, if you could get a cross between this game and Kingdom... That would actually be one of my favorite games of all time. Guaranteed. Because, like, how rad would that be? A game that, like... A, a game where you're... You're building up all these, like, industry chains and so on and so forth. Uh, to defend against endless amounts of creatures coming out of a portal at one end. Uh, you know, teching up repeatedly. You know, improving your, your setup. It's very close to Factorio. I just... I guess I can't wait till Satisfactory, but even then, like, I don't know. I I like the slight RPG elements in this. And I would love... I would love to see some kind of weird combination like that become a thing. Uh, let's see. Can I buy any more land? I could buy that land. Do we do it? I mean, really, we're hamstrung on resources. Oh, it's... Oh, it's sweet. It's the, uh, this is perfect. Hello, old man. Old man! You're just the person I was waiting for. The natural resources are being exploited by little jerks with pickaxes. Wouldn't know about that. I need you to bring me two torch bugs so I can keep them safe from harm. Mm-hmm. All right, in we go. Let's see, does Satisfactory have monsters? It has aliens of a sort. Okay, so let's switch away from this. Let's see, do we... Well, I think I know what I'm going to be. Body, fish, or basic? Let's go basic. Backpack. Medium, fancy, none. And wings, none. Alright, perfect. Aha! Hollow Knight! I love Hollow Knight. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to tree scrolls. Did I? Oh, right. I should see if I've got the, uh, the inscription scrolls. That I can make. Uh, let's see. Magical inscription table. I need bricks. Bricks! More bricks! 